I've been getting a lot of positive feedback on the new updates we recently released for our Sudoku tool. Everybody's loving all of the great things they can do now and how much control they have over the way their pages look and especially how they can add backgrounds now. I've been getting some questions about how to create a book with more than one different background. I'm going to show you how easy it is just to do this. Let's get started. For this example, I'm going to create a book with three different backgrounds for the Sudoku puzzles. First, let's get the book set up. I want to do an eight and a half by 11 book. I want to do nine by nine puzzles, one puzzle per page, and four solutions per answer page. I'm going to upload the background. We're going to start with a pumpkin one. And I'm going to do a total of 12 difficult puzzles. And I'm going to start on puzzle number one. So let's refresh and see what we got here. I want the pumpkin to be smaller and to fit inside my square. I can do that by going to book settings and scaling my image down. Let's try 0.75. I also want my numbers to be bigger and my title to be bigger. You, you change that over here in title or in settings. So how about if we do a font size of 28 for the title and 24 for the puzzle. I'm going to want to move the puzzle title up, which is also done under here, space between puzzle and title. Let's go with 0.5. Do another refresh. I think I want it up a little bit higher, 0.75. Okay, I like that. Let's go with this and let's just check the answer pages. Those look fine. We're going to stick with that. And now I'm going to download it. So that gives me a PDF with 12 puzzles with pumpkins on them. And then all the answer pages. So next I'm going to do a background of a turkey. So let's go do that one. So we want to do the turkey and this time I want to start numbering on 13 because this other because the other one ended at puzzle 12 so this will start at puzzle 13. So let's do a refresh. I want the turkey to be a little bit smaller so let's go scale it down a little bit more. Oh, that's too much. Let's try six. That's better. I like that. Let's stick with that. Now I'm going to download this book. Now I have another PDF with 12 puzzles starting at 13. Going all the way down to 24 and then of course we have our answer pages. So the last one I'm going to do for this example is a Christmas tree. Now I want to move it up a little bit so I can move it up here. Use a negative number to move your image up and a positive to move it down. You could also move it left and right if you wanted. I'm just going to move it up just a little bit. Let's do 0.25. I forgot to put the negative. There we go. I like that. It looks nice. And I need to go and change it to not start on puzzle 13, but to start on 25. So it's going to come after that one. All right. So now everything's the way I want it. So I'll hit the download button. Now I have. 12 more puzzles, this time starting with the number 25 and ending at 36. So I could continue doing this and get more, more PDFs that I could combine together, but I think you get the idea about how we're creating them. And now I'm going to show you how to combine them. To combine them, I want you to do a search for Adobe free 
PDF merger. And that's going to pull up the Adobe's free tool that will let you combine your PDFs. So click on that. Just drag and drop your files in. And then you can just drag and drop your files that you want to merge. And it's going to upload them. Now once it's uploaded, you click this button to select all of them. Then click on Combine. And then you can click on Edit. And click on Organize Pages. I want to start with my pumpkin pages. So I'm going to select all of my pumpkin pages. I can do this by clicking on the first and then shift click on the last and I'll get all of these and then I can just drag them up to where I want them. I want these at the beginning. So now I've got 12 pumpkin ones, 12 Thanksgiving ones, and now I want to do the 12 Christmas tree ones. So the same thing, click on this one, shift click to get to the other ones and then drag them to where I want them, which is over here. Now I need to arrange the answers in the proper order. So we want to start by finding page one. This is page one, and it goes to here, and we'll drag these here. And that ends at 12, and this one starts at 13, and now they're all in the right order. Now we click on Save Changes, and then I just click on Download. And now I have my file that has everything combined together. I've got the 12 pumpkins followed by the 12 turkey ones, and then I have the 12 Christmas trees. And after the puzzles, I have all of the answer pages. Now, if I wanted to, if I'd done a bigger book with, you know, enough pages, I could now upload this, this PDF file to KDP and I'm all ready to publish my book. If you have any questions about how to do any of this, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you.